Uh, morning folks, Kevin, Word in Vapor, back again, got a hardware review for you this morning. The Guardian 3, it's a pipe, yeah. <laughs> Another one. Watch this, I'll be back with you in a sec. Right, so yes, here's the pipe, here's the, uh, well here's the box at least anyway. As you can see, smock, pipe on the front there, Guardian 3 kit, you, a quick look around it, scratch and sniff, on the back you've got what the kit includes, an introduction, right let's break this thing out of here shall we? Oh, come on, there we go, nice black box as per usual from smock, I do like the uh, the smock boxes I think they're well they're cardboard and you know they can be recycled but they all can also be reused as well still anyway there you go there's the uh, TFV4 yeah I'll come back to that in a minute you got the oh come on out you come there we go there's the pipe itself yeah Take this out of here and we'll have a look and see what's going on in here. Got a bit of silica gel in there. Don't eat it. <laughs> As if you need to be told. Inside here you've got quality warranty card. You've also got a battery wrap card. Tells you not to use battery wraps that are damaged etc. And you've also got a full English manual there. So I do recommend that you sit and read this. You might pick up a bit more useful information I can't cover in this review or look at, yeah? What we got here? We've got a one amp charger, yeah? <clears throat> Screws into the base like that. Now, most computers will accept the one amp charge, but if you're going to use a, a, a dedicated charger, make sure that it'll handle down to one amp. Okay, that's that. Personally, I would prefer to charge via um, an external charger myself. That there. That's the update cable. Now, yeah, we'll come back to that in a tick. Inside here, you've got a, a rubber ring. You've got one of those uh, fill gasket things to go in the side. Incidentally, if you, if you want to take a butcher's at uh, one of my other videos, I do actually do a complete breakdown of the TFV4, which I'm, I'm not going to do a complete breakdown of it today. This is the, uh, the extender tube for your larger glass. Keep that out a second, actually. There's your larger glass. If we look at that, as you can see, it's double the size. Uh -huh. You get a, I think that this is a stainless steel coil because this pipe will do temperature control as well as uh, as power. What's nickel, titanium, stainless steel, etc. Yeah. So that, there you go. That's that's the little coil in that for that. Right. Let's put that to one side. Right. And you've got another bit of silica gel. Oh, here's the pipe. Let's uh, just take a look round at it. <clears throat> That's your fire button there. You've got the 510 with the cutouts on there for those people who use tanks that draw the airflow from the 510. That's fair enough. I believe, where's my pointer, that uh, that is spring-loaded. Yes, it is. And it's, it's quite stiff as well. Yeah. There you go. Quite nice, I suppose. In the long run. Oh, strong magnets on there. There we go. That's the inside. Not really a battery sled. I'll just find a battery to put in that actually. Right. So, yeah, the uh, the plus side of the battery goes down. Oh, incidentally, before I do that, inside there, if you can see that, you've got the USB update um, port right let's put this in here plus goes down towards the bowl there we go come on right let's put this back on ah as i say 
quite strong magnet it sort of grips it and holds it there. one two three four five to turn on so there we go it's a bit uh, a bit dull in this light one two three no that's one two three four five that unlocks it so you've got the lock feature there we go gets you into the menu you change your watts I would normally stick this type of device on about 40 I suppose to start with it's 42 to start with three back into the menu you got uh, that's your Bluetooth you got puffs uh, menu system you've got uh, power on power off uh, leave that on there for a moment one two three this is your wire temp mode what's mode going to oh, going to temp hard max minimum soft normal I'll leave it on hard yeah, nickel titanium stainless steel and it allows you to stick in your uh, TCR value if you really must go back to uh, to watts which is what I would fire it on anyway unless I was putting the uh, the temperature control coil in or the stainless steel coil in and then I would have it on uh, uh, do you know this looks like plastic it feels like plastic but it is incredibly heavy with that uh, that battery in there let me uh, let's have a look at this here tank for a minute top airflow which I never have on anyway uh, let's just turn that off there we go to fill this quite simple you just push it across and use the uh, little kidney shaped hole to fill that up let's uh, undo this there we go there's the, the coil etc that's the base TFE4 designed by Smock well that's fair enough isn't it this particular one serial number 8604 well fair enough when you're using your coil in this don't forget to uh, pre-wick there right oh yes and you've got uh, you've got like an, uh, the, bo the bottom airflow on there as well I'll do that in a second actually here's the uh, that's the small tank which is I can never remember uh, yeah it's a 3.5 mil tank there if we put the extender on there we go put the glass on there that will then turn this into a five mil tank which is fair enough isn't it close that up there we go yeah it's not too bad not too bad at all I like these little tanks actually um, you can actually get some good uh, good vapor from them that's that okay now oh, of course that then goes on there like that and away you go right um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some liquid in this in the meantime I'll see you up the top. Right, well, welcome back up. And uh, what I've done is I, I, I stuck some uh, uh, Dinner Lady Lemon Tart in there. I know I should really have used uh, tobacco liquid, but to be quite honest, I really don't fancy tobacco liquid. <laughs> 40 watts. Oh, a sub ohm pipe. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Can't beat it. I'm going to bung that up a bit, actually. Right, 51. We'll try that, shall we? <laughs> oh, yes. I love it. I love it. This is, I can see this becoming one of my favourite evening vapes. Yes, I can. <laughs> All I need is the... Uh, well, I've got the slippers. I need the jacket. <laughs> and one of those little smoking hats, yeah? <laughs> oh dear. Right, now where did I get this from? I got it from the vapour room here in Worthing. I had one about a year ago, but 
I had to take it back because I could not get it to fire. It did everything that it was supposed to have done, but, you know, it just wouldn't fire. <laughs> so uh, I've been without, and I thought to myself, well, you know, why not? Let's... Uh, Let's treat ourselves. Yeah, it wasn't that expensive. I think I paid about 35 quid for it. Normally, they're uh, uh, roughly around about 55, 60, something like that. But, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I like this. It's uh, quite a nice little uh, little vape. The one thing I do, don't like about it is this button. If the button is in the wrong place. The button should be on the top. Yeah, that that is... And, and I mean, the uh, the screen should be on the shelf, but that is a nitpick for me. But uh, uh, there you go. Anyway, seventy five watts. This is, yeah. So uh, and it it does temperature control as well, which is fair enough for those days that I fancy tooting on stainless steel. I don't do that much these days. I generally stay to cancel, which is fair enough. Uh, One eighteen six fifty battery. Got Bluetooth technology on it. Now I can't test the Bluetooth technology on it because my cell phone, the Bluetooth on it doesn't work very well. So uh, there you go. <laughs> One day I'll get myself a new phone, but uh, there you go. The pipe has been out for over a year. Again, I'm late to the party. <laughs> it says here, this is come directly from Smock, and it says it will make a a big difference to your vaping life with the extender tube an XL replacement glass tube the micro TFE 4 tank can extend to, uh, extend the 3.5 mil liquid pack capacity to 5 mil which is what I said down in the close up this Guardian 3 TC mod supports nickel titanium stainless steel wires well that's fair enough that's fair enough isn't it let's give it another toot shall we Wow. Whoa. I'm going to take that TFE4 off of there. And I'm going to try on there the baby beast. I'm just interested, you know. I've got some liquid in it. Yeah, that's all right. Let's whack that up in uh, in wattage. I'm going to go straight up for 75, I think. Right, 75 watts, and I'm going to have to stick some more liquid in there. So, how do you get this open? There you go. Exactly the same principle as the TFV4, actually. At least the filling capability of it is, anyway. The coils are just that little bit better. And granted, I don't use this tank as often as I should, but uh, I've got liquid bloody on my fingers and on the pipe now. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Wow! I'll tell you what, that is a bloody hot vape at 75 watts. Yeah, that's uh, that's too hot for me at 75 watts, you know. I'm going to knock that back down, I think. There we are, 57.7. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's going to annoy my OCD, that will. Right, let's put the uh, TFE four back on it. Actually, saying that, I'm going to put a, uh, an RDA on this. I know it's not designed for an RDA, but uh, ah, hang it. Why not? Now, I've got Nick Grim Green's recoil on there. Let's, uh, let's give that a go, shall we? Well, that's not too bad. I'll keep locking the damn thing. There we go. That's bang on 60 now. Want some more liquid in there? <laughs> yeah, so you're going to be able to fire your RDAs on it. You're going to be able to fire different tanks on it. My bloody desk is in a terrible state this morning, I'll tell you. <laughs> right, let's put that TFE 4 back on there. I like this, actually. Oh. Lemon tart. Lemon tart, you can't beat it. Absolutely love it. Well done, dinner lady. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, yeah, it will fire down to, on watts, 0.1 it fired down to, and up as far as uh, 3 ohms. That's fair enough. TC will fire down as far as 0.06 and up as far as 2 ohms. Temperature ranges on it as per usual Fahrenheit. 
200 to 600, centigrade 100 to 315. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. Um, it does actually say here a bright LED screen. Well, it's bright when you fire it, but not so bright when it's sitting at standby sort of thing, you know? Oh, yeah. As I say, I love lemon tart. Yeah, firmware upgradable. It says it's durable and uh, fireproof. <laughs> well, it would have to be, wouldn't it? That's fair enough. I feel like a sir. <laughs> Mind you, with all the other pipes that I've got, I am a sir. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Right. Okay. Yeah, no, there's nothing else that I, I can uh, yabber, yabber on about with this this morning. Anyway, this is Kevin from Wording Vapor. Wishing you all a bright and pleasant day. Thank you so much for listening to my warblings on. And I do go on, don't I? Have a good weekend, guys. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Let's toot you out. Cheers for now. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that.